It's been reported that Spurs will travel to South Korea again for pre-season in August. Fabrizio Romano has stated that Spurs appreciate Wolf star Pedro Neto. James Madison has stated that Manor Solomon is the most skillful player in the Spurs squad. Dian Kulisewski has said, I'm sure we will do well in the remaining 13 Premier League games. And it has been reported that Spurs are interested in Everton midfielder James Garner. Chris Cowley. Fan Cavs, Club News, Transfer News, Match Previews, Legend Interviews, Spurs Women, Press Conferences, Covering Everything, Tottenham and England. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you listen to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Now, just before I get started, I would just like to say a huge thank you to all of you new subscribers. It was only a couple of months ago that the channel hit 100,000, and now we are almost at 112,000. So thank you and welcome to the channel. Also, over the weekend, we were informed by podcast.feedspot.com that we are number one in the top 20 best sports documentary podcast. So thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Now, let's start by talking about one result in the Premier League from Tuesday evening. Manchester City won Brentford nil. Erling Haaland with yet another goal for the current champions. On Wednesday evening, one game in the Premier League will take place. Liverpool against Luton at Anfield. Now, Tottenham Hotspur remain fifth in the Premier League table. We have played 25, meaning that we only have 13 games left of this Premier League campaign. We have won 14 of our 25 played. We have drawn five. We have lost six. We have scored 52 goals, let in 38. We have a goal difference of plus 14. We have 47 points. We are only two points away from the top four. Of course, Villa are in fourth spot. We are now eight points away from Arsenal in third. We are now nine points away from second place Manchester City. And we are 10 points away from league leaders Liverpool, who have 57 points from 25 matches. Now, former Tottenham Hotspur goalkeeper and former captain Hugo Lloris has spoken out about Tottenham Hotspur and his move to LA. He said, I would have loved to have won trophies, but I think the Premier League is a tough place and many big clubs could afford more than Spurs. But the most important thing for me is that I came to one place and I leave it on a different level. I had a discussion with Chairman Daniel Levy at the end of last season. I could feel it was the end of a generation and that probably the club will need to go in a new direction with freshness. Uh, with new and young players and with a different football approach and it's working really well at the moment. I'm glad for the club. Now, after Spurs lost 2-1 at home against Wolves in the Premier League on Saturday at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Dian Kulusevski has come out and said, if you win or lose, you have to go on the journey again. We have two weeks to work. I'm looking forward to it. Two weeks of training is not usual, so it will be very good. One day we will rest, then we will go as hard as possible, and then we'll come back stronger. There are 13 games left, and I'm sure we'll do good. Now, on Saturday, Tottenham Hotspur striker Aleko Veliz made his return from injury as he helped lone side Sevilla to a 0-0 draw at Valencia. The forward came off the bench for uh, Sevilla on 86 minutes to make his debut for his lone team and his maiden appearance in La Liga. Tottenham Hotspur and England midfielder James Madison has spoken out about what frustrates him the most. He said, playing poorly in a game, I could say losing, but sometimes you can win and be happy that you've won, but you've still played poorly and it would frustrate and annoy me that I haven't played to the level that I know I can. I try not to have that very often. Now, James Madison has also spoken out about who he thinks is the most skillful player in the team. He said, in terms of actual skills, tricks and quick feet, I'd probably say Manor Solomon one of the sharpest players I've ever seen. 
Now, on Saturday, Ryan Sessegnon played the first 35 minutes for the Spurs under-21s as they drew 1-1 against West Ham United at Hotspur Way. Ryan Sessegnon went down, he received medical attention and then went off injured. After 37 minutes, he was replaced by Linton. Now, on Tuesday, it was reported by Football London that Tottenham Hotspur will face Bayern Munich in a pre-season friendly. It looks like Spurs will be heading back to South Korea for the pre-season friendly during August 2024. Now, Radu Dragusin's agent has spoken out about his client not getting much game time at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club under Ange Postacoglu since joining uh, the club in the January transfer window. He said, it's nothing to worry about. This is normal. After the defeat against Wolves, I hope he will get his chance soon. Uh, Romero is a champion. Van de Ven played well. He works hard in training. It was noticed by the manager and his teammates. He is training really well. He will play enough before the Euros to not be out of rhythm. Italian journalist and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano stated that Liverpool, Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal all appreciate Wolves star Pedro Neto. He has stated that it is likely that Neto will leave Wolves in the summer transfer window and his agent has already been in contact with some clubs. Fabrizio Romano has also stated that Spurs will concentrate on two positions in the summer, a winger and a midfielder. Fabrizio Romano has stated that Rafinha is really appreciated by Tottenham as well as Wolves star Neto. Uh, but at this stage, there is nothing advanced. Uh, but these two are on Tottenham's list. Reports have been published from Team Talk and from the Football Insider. And they have both stated that Spurs are interested in Everton midfielder James Garner. Tottenham are keeping tabs on Garner and may place a bid on him in the summer transfer window. And lastly, the next games for all of our teams. Uh, the under-18s are next in action on Saturday, the 24th of Feb, away at Norwich, 12 noon kickoff. The under-21s play on the same day, Saturday, the 24th of Feb, uh, Fleetwood at home, 1pm kickoff. That one is at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tickets are still available if you'd like to watch that game at our wonderful stadium. The men's first team are in action on Saturday, the 2nd of March, home against Crystal Palace, 3pm kickoff, and the Tottenham Hotspur where women are next in action on Sunday the 3rd of March, away at Arsenal, the North London derby at the Emirates Stadium, 12.30pm kickoff. Now, my thoughts on everything in this episode. Um, let's start by talking about Tottenham's league position. Of course, a lot of people are very disappointed by the performance and the result from Saturday, losing at home against Wolves. Of course, I was very down about it. Um, I do feel very disappointed by that defeat, but... Let's look at the bigger picture. We are fifth in the Premier League table right now. We are only two points away from the top four with 13 games to go. When you look overall how the season has gone with the amount of injuries that we have had, um, we lost Harry Kane in the summer. You know, I could go on and on and do a whole video on this or a whole episode on this about the issues that we have had this season. Um, I think that we are in a very good place. The football club has certainly moved on in terms of uh, quality on the pitch, what we have seen. Um, we know that there is so much more to come. Uh, so much has changed off the pitch in terms of uh, staff and personnel. Um, and I think that Ange Postacoglu has done a wonderful job. Um, it upsets me a lot, actually. Um, you know, the last couple of days, in particularly since the Wolves defeat on Saturday, um, there has been so much negativity um, around um, the fan base. And, you know, I thought that all of this had changed. I thought that the fan base were going to be patient, give Ange Postacoglu time, because we have seen the football club move on um, and go in the right direction, and that is exactly what we've all wanted to see. Uh, recruitment has been very good in the two transfer windows so far. Uh, we can see what Ange Postacoglu is trying to do. We can see what the football club is building, and we can see what everyone is doing. And uh, everything has been improving, um, you know, week on week. Um, Ange Postacoglu said at the very start, there will be a couple of bumps in the road. Um, I think there will be a couple of potholes in the road myself as well, uh, which, of course, we we will be disappointed, um, you know, during those times. I was de definitely very disappointed going out of both cup, cup, cup competitions so early this season. Um, but league position, it does look like we are going to be playing European football of some kind next season. 
if it was the Europa Conference League, if it was, was the Europa League or indeed Champions League, which of course we all want, that is a major step um, in progression under our new manager, Ange Postacoglu. I'm fully behind Ange. I really like the guy. I think that he is definitely the man for the job to drive this club you know, forward even more. And I'm really pleased with what he's done. Um, I know there are a lot of disappointed people um, out there, you know, particularly since the Wolves game and any time we lose, uh, you know, people come up with their own ideas. You know, the subs could have been uh, quicker. We could have done this. We could have done that. Of course, we all, you know, live the game. You know, we're all Spurs fans. We all live the game. We all want to see success. Um, but I think that some people sometimes just need to see the bigger picture. That's just my opinion. Who am I to give uh, you know anyone advice on how to feel or what to feel? That is just my opinion. I kn I know how I felt uh, you know in the last couple of years. You know, watching the type of football that we we have done. Um, yes, things can be better. Yes, the team and certain individuals could have played and performed a lot better. Uh, but you've got to remember. You know, I'm talking about the Wolves game, by the way. Um, but you've got to remember that some of these players have just come back from injury and uh, they're not robots and you cannot give um you know what you've given before you know certain injuries that is not an excuse that is just the way it is um Hugo Lloris coming out with the comments that he did uh you know he would love to have won trophies at the football club um I go on about trophies all the time or lack of them um but I do think that Ange Postecoglou um is doing a great job and has done a great job since he came in in the summer and I think that if we are going to get anywhere near trophies Ange will be the man uh, to do that of course he wants to get Spurs onto that next level of competing for trophies you know year in year out I cannot wait to see that because it has been disappointing this season in terms of cup competitions of course we face them the champion Manchester City in the FA Cup very very difficult draw and uh, you know the way that Ange put out um you know, a completely different team, 10 changes against Fulham. It was very disappointing to go out of the League Cup so early. Um, but league position, very happy with that right now. And if Spurs can get to a Champions League place, it would be incredible. Um, but Hugo Lloris, wishing him all of the very best. Of course, uh, he is a big Spurs fan now. He will always look out for Tottenham's results. Uh, he had done a great interview with Sky Sports. So if you haven't seen that, do check it out. I think it's available on YouTube. Dejan Kulisevsky coming out and saying uh, that, of course, the uh, the players will work extremely hard. 13 games left now. Um, he's confident that Spurs uh, will do well in the remaining 13 games. Of course, we have to. We have to give absolutely everything. And, of course, the fans have got to be behind the players in these remaining 13 games for us to get um, you know, what we want to achieve. Champions League football for next season, that would be incredible. Um, Aleko Valiz, uh, great to see him back from injury, now making his debut uh, in La Liga for Sevilla, so wishing him all of the very best. Uh, also, I'd like to say, uh, remembering the great Jimmy Greaves, born on this day in 1940, he would have been 84 uh, today, uh, sadly missed by uh, lots of Spurs fans. Um, James Madison on what frustrates him, of course, playing poorly in a game. Of course, it frustrates everybody. Um, it affects everybody in lots of different ways. Uh, we're all disappointed when we lose games. And uh, I suppose, you know, when you look at some of our defeats this season, um, I think the Spurs fans have seen every single player given absolutely everything. And that means everything to us as a fan. Um, and I think that probably the first time this season, that Wolves home game, I think that some Spurs fans felt that, you know, some of the players could have played a lot better uh, than what they uh, what they did on Saturday, which was disappointing. Um, James Madison on who is the most skillful in the team. He said in terms of actual skills, tricks and uh, quick feet, I'd probably say Mana Solomon, one of the sharpest players I've ever seen. Of course, all of us Spurs fans cannot wait to see Mana Solomon back in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt. Um, you know, he has been given some very high praise um, by a lot of people, including now James Madison. So uh, looking forward to having him back in the squad. And of course, that will be another option for Ange Postacoglu. Uh, Rodrigo Bentancur on Tuesday come out and said that he's feeling really good and uh, he hopes to be uh, back at the level that he is used to very soon. Of course, 
Very difficult for a player like that again, you know, out for so long, then came back, another injury. Uh, of course, you had that clash with uh, Matty Cash um, and then was out for a little while again. Uh, now he's back. Um, of course, it will take some players like this a little bit of time to get, you know, back to that level, uh, you know, what we are used to seeing them. But I think that there has definitely been a lot of progress this season. Um, I think with another great window, um, you know, in the summer, um, it could be very, very exciting for next season. But um, I think that we all need to, um, you know, back Ange Postacoglu, back the squad. And, uh, you know, let's hope that we will be hearing that Champions League music next year. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit the subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you listen to this on an audio platform, please do hit the follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.